Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're reviewing the worst Batman game on the Super Nintendo. Batman Forever! Number one, the glitches are numerous in this thing. It plays well enough for a Batman game, but just getting a proper weapon for the proper time at the proper space and level and a never-ending horde of enemies, it is almost impossible to beat. Like I said, I know a guy that's actually beaten this. He said it was complete. Bullcorn! But, you know, that wasn't me. I did buy it. I thought it was okay for what it was. I do have to agree with him in that it is the worst Batman game on the Super Nintendo. There are so many better ones, but like I said, I got my enjoyment out of it. And I believe I only paid like $2 for this game, so there's that. For $2, I got $2 worth of enjoyment out of it. I got $2 worth of enjoyment out of a crappy ass game. That being said, it's not the end of the world. There are some redeeming qualities to this game. Uh, especially the... Especially the fact that it is done in three levels. And the second and third level are far, far better than the first level. So if you can get past the first level, which is roughly 45 minutes, you're going to have a good time with the rest of the game. It's just the first 45 minutes that drags on so long that gets people off the game initially. Um, but, yes, I do recommend at least trying it. If you don't like it, you know, you're only really paying $2 for it. That's what I paid. And that's what all the gaming stores charge in my local area for that specific game. They have 10 of them on the shelves at all times. So really, just at least try it out um, before you buy it. I bought it because I wanted games for my collection. Will I ever put this back in my Super Nintendo again after playing through it once? No. But it's worth at least trying. Um... Especially for the $2 price tag I bought it for. It's worth the $2 I paid for it. It's not worth anything else, <laughs> in my opinion. But that is my review for Batman Forever for the Super Nintendo. Uh, and the next game on the list will... Trying to debate whether I need to do a PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation 3 game. Leave in the comments down below what you want next. Uh, PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation... PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 4 game review. Leave it in the comments down below or a Switch game review. I don't know what I want to do for this uh, section. All I know is... I'm going to have every single game I own in alphabetical order on a playlist. And as I get more games, more reviews will be alphabetized in that playlist. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like my video game reviews. And I will see you in the next video. Remember, life is nothing but a game. And it's your job to make the most points. Or should I say the most cash, the most dough, the most... Whatever, call it. I can't figure it out.